It's water. It's not wine. Wine is for cooking. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel. As you know, I'm a mom. So, baby wake up and I keep working. I don't just stop. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the HIV cure. Many, many of my friends sent me messages saying, Claire, we are so happy there's a cure for AIDS, for HIV. And thank you so much. I really appreciate that you are really, really worried about me having HIV, really wanting me to be cured from HIV. It meant the whole world. But, and the media was filled with the uh, messages that there's an HIV cure. In today's video, we're going to discuss, do we really have an HIV cure? Or oh, we don't. My name is Trishi McClair Gas Magera. I'm one of the oldest people born with HIV. So if the cure come, I'll be so happy to be one of the people born with HIV to be cured from HIV. So it, it's, it means a big deal to me. That's why I follow uh, the, the, the science closely. I'm even in a committee for the HIV cure. So guess what? I have first hand information when it comes to the HIV cure. So what happened? We have three scenarios of people who have been cured from HIV. The first scenario was uh, uh, people who were who received stem cells. Most of the time they were treating leukemia or other form of cancer. So you heard of those people and when they received those uh, uh, stem cells, they were cured from HIV. But intentionally, the medical people were not treating HIV. It just happened, and they were cured of HIV. The second are uh, people who used an antibodies. The same thing happened. They were treating a different kind of illness, and boom! The people were cured from HIV. And the third scenario, we have baby seroconversion. Baby who are born with HIV and then all of a sudden, they are not living with HIV. In those three scenarios, you have heard a New York woman, a woman from, a man from the Netherlands. Um, you have heard in the news and all CNN, all the big news, all they were saying, oh, we have an HIV cure. But hold on. All these scenarios, they are not, they cannot be re re replicated. They cannot be reproduced easily. That's the first barrier. The second barrier, they are very invasive, meaning it's so painful. They so given that those reasons that they're not, and then they're not cheap, so not everybody will be able to have access to those, to those uh, uh, three scenario easy ways of HIV cure. But the 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 flip side is. We have the, we are on the right path to get an HIV cure. So those three scenarios will serve researchers to get to the HIV cure. So keep praying, soon or later we will have an HIV cure. But right now we are still taking HIV treatment. And when we take HIV treatment, we become undetectable. And undetectable means there's 
no virus in our blood when we take HIV treatment and we reach undetectable. And when there is no amount detectable of virus of HIV viruses in our blood, we cannot we cannot pass HIV. Zero. We can't. We can have children who are we were born with HIV free. We can not pass HIV to our intimate partners. So, for me, the cure for so far is reaching you because you are undetectable, equals untransmittable, or viral suppression. Let's for to, to, to for this moment strive to have everybody living with HIV get tested, get in care, stay in care, and reach undetectable viral road. That's the cure for now. But when it comes to this stuff you heard in the news, there are 10, 20 years ahead. Uh, uh, so it means there's much time the more researches that will need to be done till we have a cure from HIV. Thank you for watching and watching. We'll see you in the next video.